Are you wondering what is the point for projects to come out with their own decentralized exchange? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at how much money these projects can generate. We're going to give you guys specific examples, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. We are talking about Titano's newly launched decentralized exchange. It's called Switch and I want to share with you guys what is the mentality behind Titano and why they are actually bringing on a DEX and we're seeing a whole lot of different projects try to bring out their own decentralized exchange without having to use another DEX in order to execute transactions. So if you guys are too familiar with Titano here we have the new website and if we go to switch that is essentially their decentralized exchange here you can swap your BNB and buy some Titano you don't have to use pancake swap anymore you can do it all on Titano's website now you may be asking yourself well what's the point for them to even do this I could go ahead before on pancake swap type in Titano use my BNB and then swap it over and I would have have Titano instead of BNB. But the whole idea behind their own decentralized exchange is how much money they can actually generate with this. And it's quite crazy to really think about it. So as we know, every time there is a transaction, whether it's on a centralized exchange, whether it's on a decentralized exchange, the way these exchanges make money is through a trading fee. And every time there's a transaction, there is a fee. It's a very small fee, which people don't really care about but if you add millions and millions of volume to that that small percentage becomes huge and I'll show you guys example of this so if we just for instance we'd say we want to use one BNB to buy Titano if I go ahead and I put one here you're gonna see the liquidity provider fee and that is a 0.25% fee that is paid by you by the person doing this transaction you are essentially taking that fee and that fee is going Going to the ecosystem and in this case it's Titano so as we can see here there's 0.17 percent that's going to the LP token holders and that is people who decide to provide liquidity to Titano so they want to pair their BNB and Titano and gain some fees or gain some money through the fees accumulated by these transactions and then the other 0.08 percent is going to the Treasury which in turn helps the Titano ecosystem system so that is basically the fee that's being paid of course it's a very very small fee as you can see it's 0 0.0025 BNB which it's probably not even a dollar but you can just imagine that this doesn't really impact you and people still go ahead and buy and sell Titano so obviously this is on a very, very small scale because we're taking an example of one person, one transaction, and you have a specific fee associated to that. But now if we go on to DX screener or DEX screener, whatever you want to call it, here you can actually go on to switch and we are on Titano's decentralized exchange. So from here, we can see all the pairs that are on this decentralized exchange. Of course, right now they only have Titano and BNB because that is essentially all they have. But in my opinion, if they do decide to onboard more projects, if we go back to this decentralized exchange, let's say you have BNB and you want to trade it for another coin that's going to be listed on this decentralized exchange. Well, you, you may be able to do that. Again, it's going to depend on what Titano wants to do with their own decentralized exchange but it's the same principle because if you're buying it through this decentralized exchange through the titano decks the fees that you pay are still going to the titano ecosystem so going back to deck screener here you can see that over the last 24 hours, we have a total volume of about $1.6 million coming into this pair, which is Titano and Wrapped BNB. So people are trading in and out of Titano and it accounts for about $1.6 million. So it's actually quite a lot of money if you think of it. And this is just only Titano. It's not like they have many different tokens that you can buy with their decentralized exchange. It's only people looking to buy and sell Titano. Titano. 
So if we go ahead and we do a bit of math here with the scientific calculator that's in your desktop, what we can do is that we can take that 0.25% divide it by 100 to make it in a percentage, and then we can multiply the current volume of Titanium on this, which is 1.6 million, and if we do that, that gives us $4,000. Now, $4,000 is again split in two, so we have more than half of that going to the LP token holders, and then 0.08% of that going to the treasury. So it's obviously split in about three ways here, and we can see that if we just bring our calculator back up here, we divide it by three. This means that about $1,300 is going to the Titano treasury and about $2,600 is going to the LP token holders as rewards for providing LP. Now, what we have to realize here is that this was over the last 24 hours, Titano has made about $1,300 just based off of trading fees from people trading in and out of Titano. They've made $1,300. Now, yes, I know it sounds very, very small and it's only $1.6 million in terms of volume, but if we just go on to CoinMarketCap and understand the absurd amount of volume that some of these decentralized exchange get, it's absolutely crazy. Now, of course, I'm not comparing Titano's decks to like Uniswap or PancakeSwap, but all to say is that the potential is endless. And if we do just take a decentralized exchange that most of you are probably familiar with, if we have MM Finance, which is on the Kronos network, they have blown up recently. And if we just take their volume, which is actually down 36% over the last day, but if we take this volume of 104 million, million dollars. So if we do the same math here, we have 0.25%. If we divide that by 100 to actually make it a percentage, then we use the $100 million volume that we have on MM Finance. That gives you $250,000, just over one day of fees accumulated by this exchange. So I don't know if you guys understand the potential of a decentralized exchange and why so many projects are bringing out their own decks. Now, of course, I'm not saying that overnight Titano's decentralized exchange is going to have hundreds of millions of dollars in volume. That's not at all what's going to happen. But as they onboard more projects, and I believe that's what their game plan is here because it only makes sense. You want to increase the volume and the way to do it is to have more tokens being able to trade from token A to token can be on your decentralized exchange and you capitalize on those fees. So before Titano's DEX, before Switch, it was all PancakeSwap that was accumulating the fees. And if we go back to CoinMarketCap, PancakeSwap is generating over $700 million of volume every single day. So on PancakeSwap, it's the same thing. So if we do that math again, we go 0.25 divided by 1,000 or 100. We do that times, let's say, $750 million. If we do that, that is going to give us a whopping 1.875 million that PancakeSwap would have generated over the last 24 hours. And you can only imagine how crazy that is. And that is only one utility of their decks and PancakeSwap has a huge ecosystem around it as well. So you can just understand that there is a lot of potential for projects to come out with their decks. It's really how they come about and implement new projects on this one. And of course, they have to be relatively good projects for people to come in and buy. So that's all to say that there is a lot of potential with having its own decentralized exchange. And I think that is one big key element that Titano has hit right on the money. And if we just take a look at my position on Titano, we can see that I'm earning about $37 per day. Of course, the price of Titano has been selling off a bit. It's sitting around 6.5 right now. So we've merged to V2 and right now it's sitting around 6.5. So we can see that my position right now is sitting around $2,000. So 
Again, all to say is I believe in Titano. I think having their own decentralized exchange is definitely going to help them out as well as all of the other utilities they plan on having. But again, we are just going to have to wait and see how they are going to implement new projects on their decentralized exchange to increase the volume and to generate more fees in order to help the Titano ecosystem. So with all that being said, if you guys found any value in this video and you understand a bit more of the purpose behind a DEX, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.